Good evening, everyone. How are you? Happy Thursday, almost the end of the week. <laughs> Hi, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Kevin. Good evening. Kevin, I didn't see you yesterday. Did you come to class yesterday? Yeah, I I haven't uh, energy, energy electrica. Oh, yeah, I didn't have electricity. What do you say? Uh -huh. Okay. I didn't have electricity. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, understandable. Yeah, it's been happening in some in some areas. It's true. Okay, so let's see. We have eleven participants connected. We should have like twenty right now, but okay. <laughs> Let me start with the presentation. Give me one moment. And you should be able to see. Me confirman cuando ya lo están viendo, por favor. Yeah, Thank you. All right. So yesterday, the day before yesterday, anteayer, the day before yesterday, we were talking about um, sentences, affirmative sentences in simple past, right? And yesterday we were talking about negative sentences in simple past. Now, who can who remembers the information we spoke about regular verbs? Por qué le llamamos regular verbs a los verbos regulares? ¿Quién me dice? Because, because. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. veamos Kevin. Okay, okay. Uh, because and all verbs uh, regulars have uh, have the same structure. In past and in past participle, exactly. Yes, they look, they basically look the same, right? Todos se ven iguales al final cuando los convertimos a pasado y a pasado participio, ¿verdad? Y a participio. So that's why we call them regular verbs, exactly. And then we were talking about the rules for doubling. Había dos reglas para duplicar la consonante o la letra final cuando pasamos a pasado, los verbos regulares. ¿Quiénes se acuerdan de esas dos reglas? Cuando hay una vocal consonante vocal, se uh -huh. duplica la última consonante. Yes, cuando la última sílaba es consonante vocal consonante, se duplica la última letra antes de agregar la ed. Very good. Y la otra era cuando la sílaba, cuando hay más de una sílaba, es un verbo de más de una sílaba, y la última sílaba se hace énfasis, right? Levantamos la voz en la última sílaba, entonces se duplica. Todo lo que no entre en esas dos categorías, no duplicamos la letra cuando estamos escribiendo. All right. And we spoke about the three different types of pronunciation that there are. Hablamos de, las tres, um, de los tres tipos de pronunciación que hay. ¿Cuáles eran? D, T, I, it. 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 <laughs> yes, yes. D, T, and it, right? En regular, los, de que, los que se pronunciarían con ir serían los que terminan en P o en D, o en sonido de estas letras, right? So that's going to make it easier for you. Then tenemos los otros que terminan en D, played, right? And then we have others like watched, cooked, que terminan en sonido como de T, right? So I hope you have reviewed that. Espero que lo hayan repasado. And then we're going to be talking about things that we didn't do today. Vamos a mencionar tres cosas que no hicimos ahora, ok, right now, to review what we saw yesterday, para repasar lo que veíamos ayer. We're going to talk about three things we didn't do today, during the day, ok. For example, in my case, today I didn't do exercise because I didn't feel well. All day I didn't feel well. So I didn't do exercise and I didn't eat during the day. I ate at night and then I feel bad again. <laughs> so that's my story. What about you guys? Tell me three things that you didn't do today. Okay. Van a ser exactamente lo mismo. Tratemos de que sean, de que estén relacionadas. Las oraciones, si las puede, si las quiere hacer aisladas, está bien, no hay problema. Pero lo ideal es que generemos conversación, que contemos historias, right? Como lo que yo les acabo de decir. Today, I didn't feel well, so I didn't eat all day. Then in the afternoon, I ate, but 
now I don't feel <laughs> I don't feel well again, <laughs> right? So try to make it like that. También recuerden que ya pueden ir incorporando otros temas, otros tiempos gramaticales, como lo que yo acabo de hacer. I ate at night, en la noche comí, and now I don't feel well. Y ahora no me siento bien, ¿ok? La traje de pasado, incorporé presente, ¿all right? No necesariamente las tienen que hacer así, pero traten de incorporar otro tiempo gramatical cuando lo amerite su historia, ¿de acuerdo? So... We're gonna, y para esto no vamos a dar tiempo, no vamos a escribir las oraciones, vamos solo a contarlas, que de eso se trata. Ustedes ya saben la estructura, sujeto, auxiliar, did not, verbo, ok, y lo demás es complemento. So, volunteers, ¿quiénes quieren iniciar? Veamos, a contar tres cosas que no hicieron ahora, o que no les pasaron ahora. Vamos con Jancy. Ok, today I didn't get up. Early, 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 uh -huh. and I didn't study for my exam. Oh my god! <laughs> and I didn't eat my lunch in my house. All right, very good, Jancy. Thank you. Vamos con Catherine Irasema. Three things that you didn't do today, Catherine. I didn't cook my Long. Okay. Uh, creo que sí hoy bien, ¿verdad? Entré como yes. cinco minutos tarde. Yes, eh, yes. <laughs> otra cosa que no hice hoy. Mm -hmm. I didn't take the class. Okay. Como hoy no tomo clases. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Qué más no hice hoy? Ah, ¿Cómo digo que ahora no hice exámenes? I didn't have exams. I, I didn't have exam. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. Very good. Kelly Magdalena, three things you didn't do today. And today I didn't eat in the breakfast and I didn't go to a store and I didn't eat pupusas. Ok. Cuando decimos didn't, el siguiente verbo es en presente. Entonces voy a decir I didn't eat pupusas. Ok. Only that. Kelly. Ok. Gracias. De ahí, ahí súper bien. Thank you. Vamos con Marbelli. Three things you didn't do today, Marbelli. Ok. I didn't repay my car in the oh morning. Ok. <laughs> And I didn't call my my mother in the afternoon. All right. And I didn't watch TV in the news. In the news. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Marbelli. Okay, let's talk with um, Marcelina. Three things that you didn't do today, Marcelina. I didn't eat ¿cómo dice desayuno? Breakfast. Breakfast. Uh -huh. I didn't dinner eat pupusas. Okay. Um I dinner I didn't I didn't um no tome café. I didn't drink coffee. I didn't drink coffee. Very good, thank you. Monica Marisol, tell me three things that you didn't do today. I pensé que no me van a preguntar. I didn't exercise, no, because my abdomen hurt. I didn't make dinner before class. Um, I didn't how to go to work because they gave me a rig. That's really cool, Monica. Yeah. <laughs> that you didn't have to work. Y así no quería participar. Qué bárbara. <laughs> <Sí>. <laughs> Elizabeth del Carmen, tell me three things that you didn't do today. Hola. Buenas Hola, noches. Buenas noches. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Va entrando o no? Sí. 
Ah, sí, no, ahorita. Okay. Estamos hablando de las oraciones negativas. Estamos diciendo tres cosas que no hicimos ahora. En ese uh -huh. I didn't play tennis. Ok. I didn't eat eh, pizza. Uh -huh. And I didn't go to Europa. Europe. To Europe. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Very good. The structure. Very good. Thank you. Vamos con Natalie Patricia. Three things you didn't do today, Natalie. Natalie, three things you didn't do today. Si no, vamos con Ovidio. Ovidio Baltasar. Tell me three things that you didn't do today. Um, I didn't play soccer. Mm -hmm. I didn't eat pupusas. And I didn't when, no, go to... Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't go to Plaza Mundo. Very good, Ovidio. Thank you. Rafael. Three things that you didn't do today. Uh, I didn't um, drink the water. Okay. Um, I didn't visit my family from the United States. Okay. I didn't. I didn't visit a doctor. I okay. didn't. I didn't clean the house. <laughs> Very good, Rafa. Good sentences. Thank you. Ricardo, tell me three things that you didn't do today. Uh, today, I didn't lunch, uh, eat lunch in my house because I, I eat in um, Campero chicken. I ate. In, in, I eat, ate uh -huh. Campero chicken in more. Okay. All right. I didn't drive because you said uh, um, Uber. Okay. And I didn't exercise because I, I walk out late. <laughs> Very good sentences, Ricardo. Thank you. Rina de los Angeles. There are three things that you didn't do today. Um, today, I didn't do dinner because I feel I felt very tired okay. and of course I didn't wash the dishes. <laughs> especially. <laughs> especially. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't study. All right. La honestidad ante todo. <laughs> Ruth Abigail, tell me three things you didn't do today. Ruth, ¿está por ahí? Three things you didn't do today. Si no, vamos con Sandra. Sandra Noemi. Three things you didn't do today. I didn't wash my clothes in the okay. morning. I didn't take my lunch to work. All right, good. Thank you. Vanessa Elizabeth, three things you didn't do today. Vanessa Elizabeth. Y si no, vamos con Wendy del Carmen. Wendy, three things you didn't do today? Si me escuchan todos. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. All right. Quedamos pendiente entonces con Vanessa y Wendy del Carmen. Then. All right, moving forward, let's see. Yesterday we started talking about irregular verbs. Al final de la clase inicia, vamos a hablar de los verbos irregulares, okay? So I need six volunteers. Cada uno de ustedes va a leer en el cuadrito con sus oraciones, ¿de acuerdo? So we need six volunteers right now. Ocupamos seis voluntarios ahorita, okay? 
So, Jancy, you will be number one. Rina, you will be number two. Rafael, you will be number three. Marbelli, number four. Natalie, number five. And Kevin, number six. Okay. I did my work. I didn't do the laundry. Do laundry. Homework. I did my homework. <laughs> Yeah, my work. Yes. <laughs> I did my homework. Yes. <laughs> I didn't do laundry. Very you. good. Thank you, Jancy. Number two. You got up at noon. Mm -hmm. You didn't get up at 10. Thank you. Number three. He went to museum. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't go to the library. Very good, thank you. Number four. We meet our classmates. Met. Met. Mm -hmm. We didn't meet our teacher. Correct. En pasado es met, en presente es meet. Very good. Um, number five. ¿Cómo se dice? Camino. Came. Came. Y, uh -huh. y el de abajo? Didn't come. Okay. Uh -huh. You came home late. You didn't come home early. early. Very good. And number six, please. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Hay dos verbos en particular con los que ocupamos el verbo do que es el verbo do exercise y el verbo do the homework, ¿verdad? O a veces como hace la matemática, do the math, right? Pero en general el verbo do no lo ocupamos con, como para expresarnos, casi no, solo se ocupan esas tres combinaciones particulares. Así que el pasado de do sería did. Y si yo quiero decir yo hice mi tarea, I did my homework. En ese escenario, con el auxiliar, en el primer escenario es auxiliar y en el segundo está haciendo el verbo. Ok, I didn't do laundry. No hice la lavada, no hice la lavandería del día, right? Um, el pasado de get up, get up, despertarse, right? Levantarse, perdón. Got up sería el pasado, got up. Um, igual, versión negativa, auxiliar negativo, verbo en presente. Si solo lo ocupo en afirmativo, solo es el verbo en pasado, tal cual, right? Y va lo mismo. La diferencia es que ahorita estamos hablando de verbos irregulares. Por ejemplo, verbos que, es decir, perdón, verbos que cambian o que no cambian. Tiene, puede ser cualquiera de los dos escenarios. Estos que tenemos aquí ahorita en particular sí cambian. Por ejemplo, do, did, get up, got up. Teacher, dígame. Una pregunta. Eh... ¿Cómo voy a saber yo que estoy ante un verbo irregular o ante un verbo regular? Por lo que acabo de mencionarles, porque los verbos irregulares en pasado van a cambiar o se mantienen iguales. Uh -huh. Los regulares, ustedes saben que siempre en pasado y en participio, ED. No importa qué, regulares, ED, en pasado y en participio. Los irregulares pueden cambiar por completo, como get up, got up, cambia. Go, went. Cambia por completo. Usted sabe que es irregular porque el verbo ya en otro tiempo cambió. Mm. O si se mantiene igual. Por ejemplo, el verbo decía anoche. El verbo cortar. Cut. Se escribe igual en los tres tiempos. Cut, cut, cut. Usted sabe que es irregular porque no cambió. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. So, that's a good one. Luego tenemos meet. Conocer o encontrar. Met. Tenemos come. Venir. Come. Venir y el pasado vino o vine o vinimos, dependiendo del sujeto, ¿verdad? Came. Have, el pasado de tener es had, right? Con la D, had. So, y ahí, si se fijan, estos también son verbos de acción, la mayoría, los regulares. Ok. So, uh -huh. we have a conversation here and we're going to need two volunteers. One person will be Laura and the other person will be Erica. Okay, let's see. Jancy, you will be Laura and Ricardo, you will be Erika. Let's start, please. Iniciamos. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. 
my sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Can Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Love it. Loved it. Loved it. Mm -hmm. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, uh, actually, actually, we rode horse, and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you fun? Did you have? Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Thank you. Very good. We need two more volunteers. Um, let's see. Um, Rafael, you're going to be Laura, and Monica, you're going to be Erica. Iniciamos. So, did you any anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. As you say, Canyon. 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 Mm -hmm. Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go on hiking? Hiking? Your, hiking? Hiking there? No, we didn't actually. We rode horse, as you see, horses. 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 Mm -hmm. And we also went with water. White From water? The, white water. Y lo otro, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Rafting. Rafting on the Colorado River. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes. With that, we had a great time. Very good, thank you. Okay, so now we're, we're introducing the irregular verbs. In este scenario, llevamos introduciendo verbos irregulares. Okay, I went, my sister and I went to Arizona. We saw, vimos, right? Did you like it? Les gustó? We loved it. Es de regular. So, ¿cómo lo identifico? Porque termina en ed. Sé que eh, terminar en ed es un verbo regular. Okay. Um, did you go hiking there, right? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. Esta palabra actually en inglés quiere decir en realidad. Actually quiere decir en realidad. No vayan a pensar que quiere decir actualmente. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> actually en inglés quiere decir en realidad. El pasado de ride, montar, rode. We rode horses. Montamos a caballo. We rode horses. Ok, white yeah. water rafting se refiere a esto, ir en balsas en las aguas, ellos le llaman aguas blancas a las aguas con bastante espuma. Ok, questions? Yes, ¿cómo se dice actualmente en inglés? Currently. Oh. <laughs> Totalmente opuesto, yo sé. <laughs> Currently, se lo voy a poner ahí en el chat. Y ahí se le puse, currently es actualmente. Por ejemplo, currently I am teaching you guys a class right now, right? O currently we are in the class. O sea, puede decir, actually no, miss. Actually I'm not paying attention, <laughs> right? So you can use it in different versions, just not in that. No como en español, no son el equivalente al español, right? All right, so. Take a good look to this conversation. Dele una buena ojeada a esta conversación porque van a crear una igualita ustedes ahorita, ¿ok? Vamos a pasar a los breakout rooms, van a pasar a las salas y van a trabajar ya sea en parejas o en grupos. Vuelvo y repito, no quiero que regresemos después del tiempo. No hicimos nada, mis. That is not acceptable. No es aceptable que se pasen cinco minutos de la clase sin hacer nada. Así que no, no quiero a nadie con esa respuesta cuando regresemos, ¿ok? ¿Qué van a hacer? Tomen esta, tomen la foto, tomen la captura y ocupenla como referencia. Cambien básicamente 
What did you do? Oh, did you go anywhere last summer? And the last summer, did you go anywhere on the weekend? Okay. Algo más sencillo, right? Escenarios que sean que todos entendamos, de acuerdo? No tiene que ser al 100% igual, pero tómenla como, como su esqueleto para armar su conversación, de acuerdo? So, bear with me for a minute. Vamos a asignar los salones, tenemos un minuto. Natalie, creo que usted es la que siempre tiene, se conecta de dos dispositivos, ¿verdad? Sí, pero hoy sí me conecté solo de uno. Ah, <risa> <risa> ok, um, déjenme ver, quiero ver. Ocho, ok, tendríamos que estar acá. Y ya les va a aparecer. Tienen cinco minutos a partir de las y 27. Son las 8.26 ahorita. De las y 27 en adelante tienen cinco minutos para generar su conversación. Y ya les tiene que aparecer a todos. Rina la moví al, al room 8 con Mónica y con Ovidio. Y Rafael, ¿por qué no está en la sala? Creo que hay unos que se han quedado afuera. No sé por qué están ustedes afuera. No, no aceptaron entrar a la sala. Sí, che, yo acepté entrar a la sala, pero estaba tardando en, en, en el 7 y de allí me dijo como iniciando otra vez y de allí aparece aquí. Ok, le voy a pasar al 9, Rina, y voy a pasar a alguien más ahí ahorita, ¿ok? Ok.
Ay, Sara, ya van a regresar los demás de las, de las salas, porque están trabajando en grupo ahorita, pero ya se van a cerrar, así que ya van a recuperar. Sí, tuve que salir a hacer una, una diligencia y ahorita vengo llegando, me voy conectando. No worries, no se preocupe. Okay. ¿Verdad que hasta la sección 4 teníamos que dejar ahora? Um... Es en la tercera semana, sí. Sección sí, 4. ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, va. Uh -huh. Okay, welcome back everyone. Estamos de regreso. Okay, so we're going to start with room number one. Room number one, tengo a Kevin, Rafael y Ricardo. Iniciamos. Okay, um, hi boys and Rafael and Ricardo. Uh, what country did you travel the last summer? Uh, I went to try the Germany for two weekends. Really? Oh, that's so good. And Rafael? Turn off your... <laughs> El micrófono, Rafael. I'm sorry. Uh, trip Australia for 10 weekends. The country is beautiful. Visit the park. Este del parque, el par nacional de Australia. I visit or I visited? I visited the par. Mm -hmm. Okay. The par eh, nacional de Australia. Okay. Is there more? I, había más en la conversación? No. Not really. Okay. <laughs> All right, you have to let me know, guys. Tienen que avisarme. Si no me quedo esperando. Thank you. Very Sorry. good. Thank you. Very good. We go with room number three, which is Kelly, Sandra, Kelly Magdalena, and Sandra Noemi. Okay. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Kelly. So, do you go anywhere last weekend? I did my mom. In I went to the beach. Really? Do you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. 
Hasta ahí lo pudimos hacer. <laughs> okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Room number four, Marbelli and Natalie. Hello, Natalie. <laughs> so did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I visit Mexico and I went to the beach of Acapulco. It's a very nice place and I love it. I'm going to go again on vacation. That's it. All right, thank you. Thank you, ladies. Room number five, Elizabeth Del Carmen and Jancy. Hi, Jancy. So did you go to anywhere last holiday? Yes, I did. My family and I went to Termo del Rio and we stayed in the river. Really? Did you like it? Of course, yes. I love it. The water was so fresh and clean and of course natural. Did you, did you swim in there? No, I didn't. Unfortunately, I can swim. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, I had fun holidays. Finish. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Very good, ladies. You did a complete conversation. Nice. Congratulations. Room number six, Catherine Iracema and Marcelina Amalia. Hi, Marcelina. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Hi, Catherine. Yes, I did. Saturday in the morning study. Tax large. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. I love it. it. And you? What did you do over the weekend? I went to the beach on Sunday. Really? Did you like it? Yes, I like it. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Very good conversation. Room number eight, we go with Monica, Marisol, and Ovidio. Okay. Hi, Ovidio. Hi, Monica. Did I you go anywhere last month? Yes, I did. I went with my parents to the beach El Junco. Seriously? You had a lot of fun? Oh yes, I had a lot of fun going with my parents. That's great. I'm happy for you. See you later, Ovidio. See you later, Monica. Very good, thank you. And we go with number nine. Room number nine, Rina and Wendy del Carmen. Hi, Rina. Wendy, es el micrófono, Wendy. Hola. Hi, Wendy. Did you go last weekend? Wendy, estaba teniendo problemas. All right, but thank you for the effort, Reina. Gracias por el esfuerzo. Thank you. All right, moving forward. We're going to be talking about yes or no questions, right? We already know how to speak in affirmative. We already know how to speak in negative and simple past. Now we're going to learn how to speak asking yes or no questions in simple past, right? So. Before we do that, we have the structure. Tenemos la estructura guía, okay? Para las preguntas de sí o no. And I will always start, como todas las preguntas de sí o no que han visto hasta el momento, siempre inician con el auxiliar. En este caso, en Simple Pass, nuestro auxiliar es did, okay? Nuestro auxiliar es did para todos los sujetos, para todos los pronombres personales se ocupa did. Entonces, inicio con did, luego el sujeto, Y luego el verbo que se va a quedar en presente 
porque el did está haciendo el cambio, ¿ok? Y luego todo lo que siga pues es complemento, ¿ok? Esa es la estructura que yo voy a utilizar para hacer preguntas de sí o no. ¿Fuiste a tal parte? Did you go over here? ¿Ok? ¿Hiciste tal cosa? Did you do this? Right? So, siempre que sea pregunta de sí o no, voy a iniciar con el auxiliary did. ¿Ok? And we have, we have examples here. I'm going to need four volunteers. ¿Ok? Cada uno va a leer la pregunta con su respuesta y hay cuatro en total. So, we can go with that. Um, Natalie, you will be number one. Then, Monica, you will be number two. Kevin, you will be number three. And let me check. Rafael, you, you will be number four. Okay. So number one, please. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Thank you. Number two. Did Erika like her vacation? Yes, she did. She lived. She liked it, it a lot. She liked it a mm. lot. <laughs> Thank you. Number three. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Thank you. Number four. Did, uh, did Erika and the and here's, perdón, did, did Erika and her sister go, go to the Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Thank you. Very good. Ok. Como todas las preguntas de yes or no, las respuestas tienen dos versiones. Tienen la versión corta, yes, sujeto, did, yes, sujeto, auxiliar, en este caso, did, o no, sujeto, auxiliar, not. En este caso, no, sujeto, did, not. Ok. Esa es la versión corta, la respuesta corta. La respuesta larga es usted parafraseando la pregunta, como estas que tenemos acá. Did you have a good summer? Usted puede decir, yes, I did. Ahí muere. Respuesta corta ya estuvo. O puede decir, yes, I did. O, así como acá, da más información. I had a great summer. O puede parafrasear la pregunta. Yes, I had a great summer. Okay. Um, number two, did you play volleyball? Usted dice, no, I didn't. O puede decir, no, I didn't play volleyball. ¿Ok? Las respuestas largas casi siempre se consideran más formales. Por lo general, nos expresamos con respuestas largas cuando estamos hablando con personas superiores a nosotros, ya sea nuestro jefe o personas que en una entrevista, ¿verdad? En ese escenario. De lo contrario, siempre podemos contestar con las versiones cortas y está perfecto, no afecta en nada, no hay problema con eso. Okay, we have three examples here. Each person is going to read one sentence, one question, and you're going to invent the answer, okay? Ocupo tres voluntarios. Cada uno va a leer una de las preguntas y va a inventar la respuesta, ¿de acuerdo? Obviamente que haga match la respuesta. So, Jancy, you will be number one. Sara, you will be number two. And Natalie, you will be number three. Veamos. Okay, did you drink soda yesterday? No, I didn't because soda is bad for your health, for my health. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Correct. Number two. Did Pablo buy a new car? Thank you. No, I didn't. Mm, no, I didn't. Or no, no he no. didn't. No, ajá, no, perdón. Ajá. No, no, he didn't. Exactly, no, he didn't. O oh, no, he didn't buy a new card. Cualquiera de esas cosas. Ajá, no. Thank you. But, okay. Number three. Did she call her mother? No, she didn't call her mother. <laughs> correct, that is correct. Thank you. All right. So we have 10 sentences in here. What you have to do is create the questions using what is the information that is on the brackets, okay, in the parentheses. Ustedes van a armar la pregunta completa usando la información que está en paréntesis. Así que levantemos la manita, vamos a asignarle una a cada uno. Tenemos 10 en total acá. Levantemos la mano para irse asignando, por favor. 
Let's see, let's see. Okay, iniciamos con Rina, you will be number one. Ricardo, Hello. number two. Kevin, number three. Sara Maria, number four. Yancy, number five. And then Marcelina, number six. Elizabeth del Carmen, number seven. Katherine Iracema, number eight. Kelly, number nine. And Ovidio, number 10, please. Iniciamos, number one. Build the doll room after the cut. Correct, pero así con confianza, Rina. Ahorita está como dudando. <laughs> The uh, bill the doll wrong after the cut. ¿Cómo la contestaría, Rina? Uh, yes, it's it's wrong. It ran. It it's uh, yes, it's run after uh, the cut. After the cut. Correct. Very good, Rina. Thank you. Number two, please. Uh, did you take photos when you were on holiday? Correct. ¿Cómo la contestaría? Yes. Uh, I took. Took. El pasado, took. Mm -hmm. Yes, I took uh, photos in the holiday. Very good. That is correct. Number three, please. Did Stephen Lee send to me yesterday evening? Mm -hmm. Answer. Uh, the answer is. Um, no, he didn't because Steven listened music in the morning. Very good. Thank you. That's correct. Number four, please. Number four. Okay. Did the ladies have? Did the ladies have a cup of tea in the coffee? In the cafe. In the cafe. Uh -huh. Did the ladies have a cup of tea in the cafe? Uh -huh. What is the answer, Sara? Yes, they did. Correct. Yes, they did. Oh, yes, they have a cup of coffee, uh, a cup of tea in the cafe. Correct. Number five. Melissa and Ruth were in for viewers as Friday. Uh, number five, um, Hesta. Uh, Apple. Five. <laughs> uh, number five. Did Nancy text in the French lesson? Yes, she did. Very good. Thank you, Nancy. Number six. <laughs> Melissa and Ruth were playing last Friday. Friday. Repitamos la pregunta. Melissa en Ruth. ¿Qué falta Hoy. de Melissa en Ruth? Ajá. Uh -huh. Did Melissa en Ruth wear pullovers? Flowers last Friday. 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 Correct. Did Melissa en Ruth wear pullovers last Friday? Yes, they did. Very good, thank you. Number seven. Did your brother say hello to the people in the street? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, he didn't. He, yes, he did. Yes. <laughs> yes, he did. Correct. Number eight. Uh, did teacher open windows in your classroom? Uh -huh. uh, yes, he did open open the windows in your classroom. Okay. So lo que ahí sería en vez de yes she did va a decir yes she did en la versión corta. Ahí está bien. Pero si va a decir todo, entonces quita el did. Solo dice yes she opened the windows in the classroom. Okay. Me pasó de una vez el verbo. Exactly. Yes. Gracias. Sí, solo sin la versión larga. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Number nine. Uh, did the girls in your class play she's two weekends ago? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yes, they did. Yes, 
Did the girls in your class play chess? Yes, they did. Yes. Chess is ajedrez. Okay. Ajedrez. And number 10, please. Number 10. Ovidio tiene problemas con la plataforma. Veamos, Rafael, me, gusta, me puede ayudar con esta, por favor. Si gusta ayudarme. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. I didn't your mother take... Did your mother? Make, did your mother take break, breakfast yesterday morning? Uh -huh. And the answer? Yes. Yes. Um... Yes, mother. Did. Yes, yes she mother. Did. Yes, she did. she did. Yes, correct. Yes, she did. Very good. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who participated. Nice. Okay. Before we go with that, antes de hacer eso, we have an exercise. I want you to write three questions. Escriban tres preguntas usando simple past. Que se las van a hacer entre ustedes. De acuerdo. Por ejemplo, did you go to the large city yesterday? Did you eat pupusas for breakfast this morning? Did your mother give you money last week? Okay. Cualquiera de tres preguntas pueden ser con cualquier sujeto, pero idealmente las primeras una o dos tienen que ser con primera persona, segunda persona, you, ¿verdad? Tres preguntas usando simple past, preguntas de sí o no. Les voy a dar tres minutos, son las de 52, a las de 55 iniciamos. Los que ya terminamos pueden levantar la manita y vamos a empezar con ustedes, ¿de acuerdo? Se van a ir haciendo las preguntas entre ustedes. Ok, so Jan, si usted le va a hacer sus preguntas a Kevin Daniel en ese momento. Ok, Kevin, did you paint something yesterday? No, I didn't. <laughs> ok, did you complete the English platform? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and did you have your birthday yesterday? No, I didn't. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Jancy. Okay, volunteers, please. Don't ask me more volunteers. Ya le digo a quien va a preguntar qué. Just a minute. Okay. Okay, Kevin, usted le va a preguntar a Ricardo Guerrero, por favor.
Ricardo, did you have a good day? Yes, I I have good day. Okay, and did you can you sleep last night? Did you sleep well last night? Oh, did you, okay. mm -hmm. did you sleep well last night? Yes, uh, I will sleep. Mm -mm. I will not. Yes, I did. I yes, I did. Mm -hmm. And did you buy a new cell phone? Sorry. Did you buy a new cell phone? A new cell phone? No, I didn't. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Ricardo, usted le va a hacer sus preguntas a Sandra Noemi. Uh, Sandra, did you sleep yesterday? No, le escuché. Uh, did you sleep yesterday? Tengo que decirle no, no. Sandra, did you sleep yesterday? Did you sleep yesterday? No, no, I didn't. Okay, next question, Ricardo. Uh, did, did you walk a bus stop? Did you walk to a bus stop? Camino a una parada de buses, Sandra. Did you walk to a bus stop? No, I didn't. Thank you. Number three, Ricardo. Did you work? <laughs> did you work the last week? Did you work last week, Sandra? Fui a trabajar a donde me pregunta. Mm -mm. Did you work? Trabajo. Did you work last week? La semana pasada? Yes. I didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Thank you. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay, Sandra, usted le va a hacer sus preguntas. Um, ya le digo. Usted le va a hacer sus preguntas a Natalie Patricia. Solo una logré hacer. ¿Qué? Ay, Sandra, <ríe> me quedo en deuda. Vaya, está bien, hágale su pregunta a Natalie, por favor. Your dinner. De nuevo. Did you have your dinner? Natalie, did you have your dinner? Natalie, está en mute. No, no, Natalie, no la escuchamos. Pregúntele a Mónica, por favor. Eh, Sandra. Mónica, did you have your dinner? Did you have dinner, Mónica? Hola, hola, aquí soy. <risa> ¿Qué? Perdón. Did you have dinner? Eh, no, I didn't. No, así sí, señor. No, I didn't. Ajá. Ajá, no, I didn't. <risa> Very good, thank you. Mónica, usted le hace una pregunta a... Solo una era. No, son tres, pero por cuestión de ah, tiempo. Ah, ok, ok. <ríe> yes. Usted le hace una pregunta a Marbelli, por favor. Ok. Marbelli, did you go to the cinema now? No, I didn't. Very okay. good. Thank you. Marbelli, usted yeah. le hace la pregunta a Elizabeth del Carmen. Ok, Elizabeth. Did you drink two milk yesterday? Yes, I did. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Okay, that's going to be it for tonight. Eso va a ser todo por esta noche. Um, para los que todavía tienen pendiente, completen la plataforma. Esta semana se llega hasta la semana cuatro. Um, así que la otra semana es la última. Tenemos cuatro sesiones más. Y el, el final exam. Así que asegúrense de repasar y de completar la plataforma durante el fin de semana. ¿De acuerdo? See you on Monday, everyone. Have a good night. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. 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 bye.